it's Lisa with Nifty Vintage Necklace. Today I'm going to make a video showing you some of my newest necklaces and I'm going to also share my Blythe doll with you. Um, on my last video has been a few months now and um, a lot's been going on the last few months. Most of you know that my sister passed away and um, it's been a really hard few months but I did want to say thank you very much for the sympathy cards and sympathy emails that made of course the transition of sales and shipping and all of that kind of stuff much better with the understanding of really good customers like most of you are so anyways um, thank you and of course she's right here in my mind all the time and I miss her dearly but as my mom would say um, the show must go on so that's what I'm doing I'm just trying to stay focused and um, with that, I will show you a few new necklaces. So let's see here. These are a few I've made in the last week and then one that I made a couple months ago actually, but I was just going to show it on the video because I hadn't shown it yet. So this one is really cute. A lot of Lisa Frank lovers out there. I happen to be one of them. Um, she made the 80s way cuter with her really cute hologram and uh, neon um, animals that are so cute. So this features the panda duo and I just love that one. It's really sweet. Um, one that I made a few months ago, it's really big and really cute, is this Lala Loopsy. And I love that one. It has just a lot of like really fun um, cabs on it and it's just adorable really big but absolutely cute on yep love that one um, today I'm wearing uh, little twin stars um, I usually don't duplicate necklaces unless I'm duplicating it for myself or um, sometimes a custom order or sometimes a shop if perhaps it sells on Etsy then I will redo one for um, a shop customer but um, anyways, this one I love so much, I, I did redo for myself. So, love it, love it, love it. Anywho, how many of you remember the Mood Dreamers from the 80s? It was not only a toy that was super cute featuring unicorns and um, all these really cute kind of like magical um, characters, um, but it was also a cartoon series, which was awesome, and I miss it. So anyways, this is the new Moon Dreamers one. I love that one. It's got the mint green, lavender, a peachy pink. Nice big two inch round cameo. Extremely adorable on. I love that one. And one I made yesterday by request is a lot of La La Loopsy lately. So this is a new La La Loopsy cameo style very feminine very girly that could be worn by anybody of any age and that's what I say all the time um, I get emails sometimes where parents are concerned that the jewelry is only for um, adults because of the magnitude of size on some of them but that's what I say if you have a desire to have one for a child um, or birthday party favors just write in to me and I can make them smaller to accommodate um, kids and of course kids you know sometimes break things so I can make them more kid proof and kid friendly just have to send in a message and I'd be happy to accommodate that but overall most of my necklaces do seem to be worn by girls 18 to 50 and seriously in that entire gap um, I found a little something for everybody and that makes me happy because uh, in the beginning a lot of people thought that they were very silly and very childish and um, I just hadn't found the right people. Now that I have the right audience, um, I get the feedback that I was looking for because I of course wanted jewelry that was whimsical, um, girlish, uh, fun, and of course character based. And so that is exactly why I started creating my jewelry. So I'm happy for all of the people that enjoy it. That makes me happy. And I'm glad that I have um, wonderful customers like you. So, um, one more thing. I'm going to show my Blythe doll before I end this video. Because a few of you had asked if I could um, share her. So, I can do that. So, this is one of them. She is wearing 
a wig, so I was going to move it out of the way. So she's wearing a wig. I order these wigs from Japan because it changes the look of all of my dolls. And the wigs aren't too expensive. They're like $25. And it just gives it... Um, it gives any doll a new look. So I have like four or five different wigs for each doll and then that way I can have various looks and various styles and um, it makes my photography on my Blythe dolls a lot better. So um, if you love Blythe, take a look in my shop because what I've been doing is creating necklaces out of um, my Blythe doll photography and um, it's really really fun. It's all um, photography I've done myself and they're all my dolls and um, then just creating necklaces with them. So anyways, um, it's been great seeing you guys again, and I look forward to another video with you, and hopefully from here on out we'll have smooth sailing, um, no more sickness, no more death, um, and just uphill from here. So anyways, thanks a lot, and um, have a great day. Bye.